What's going on everybody? It's Daniel with Spotlight and we are in the midst of spooky season. That's right. So what does that mean? Yes. Tonight we are checking out yet another Halloween attraction, this time in the heart of Etobicoke. That's right. This one is called Martino Manor and it's actually located right behind Mama Martino's, a restaurant in Etobicoke at 7 Macintosh Avenue. This particular event is kind of like a haunted house basically. So you're not going to go to a place where you're going to have like six different themed attractions all in one spot or rides or this or that. It is just one attraction, one haunted house. Now I have done this event before, the first time being in 2018 and once again in 2019. 2020, I don't think that they were open and then last year I just didn't get to it. So tonight I'm really excited to check it out again. The event first opened on October 1st of this year and will run until Halloween night. Typically it starts around seven o'clock and finishes around 11 or 12, depending on the day of the week. So make sure you check out the website just to make sure. It is a cash only event and you have to buy your tickets at the door. Now, as I mentioned, it isn't a topical. It's at the intersection of Park Lawn and Royal York. It is an indoor and outdoor event. So you do want to dress appropriately because of that. It's mainly indoor, but there is some outside uh, attractions as well. And I will be going with some familiar faces. So keep an eye out for those. But anyway, I gotta get myself ready because I'm just basically standing here in my underwear, so yeah, let's go. All right, guys, we are in front of Martino Manor. You can hear the screams. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, so we still have time to change our minds. <laughs> but yeah, we guys, we are at, in front of Martino Manor. Um, this is at Park Lawn and Royal York. So we're gonna head in there soon. It is $25 a person, cash only. So if you're coming in here, it is cash only. Let's go check it out. All right, so we just got finished at our side. Everybody's in this one. We just got finished at Martino Manor. What's everybody's thoughts? Um, terrifying. Besides, oh no! Oh no! Terrifying. So yeah, absolutely terrifying. I will say though, for but what we say for twenty five dollars a person, worth it. Absolutely worth it. You think so? Yeah, yeah, we had a blast. We were in there for what, like five minutes? Yes, but we were terrified. Yeah, I was very scared. Some of them were. <laughs> yeah. It was scary. It was actually one of the better ones for sure. But I don't know. For twenty five dollars, I think it was yeah. a little. Honestly, I mean, I had a blast. Do it. Yeah, I had a blast. Too. I enjoyed it. It's yeah. one of the better ones. For a scare factor, it's definitely one of the better ones. To me, twenty five dollars for what it was. It was good. It's scary. It's definitely scary. Scarier than some of the other ones. I do find it to be a little bit expensive though, twenty five dollars, but. Yeah, if it was a little bit longer, if there was a bit more to it, I don't know, but it's good. If you want to scare and you're in like the Tobacco, Toronto region or whatever, it is good. Definitely good. So check out Martino Manor. I kind of wish I did film in there because these girls were screaming like crazy the whole time. It was hilarious. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting. Have you been to Martino Manor before? What are some of your favorite like Halloween -y things to do in Etobicoke and Toronto. You know, we've shown a few on this channel. We gotta show a few more if we can. But yeah, to me, this one is one of the scarier ones. But anyway, my opinion. And these girls' opinions for sure. I, I, I wish I could record them there because they were freaking out. Anyway, this is Daniel Spotlight. I'll see you next one. Bye.